St. Michael's Mount stares from seawards in surprise as an amphibious fighting vehicle sets out from Cornish shores. A boarding party of landlubbers. Shipbreakers ahoy. Seagulls scream from the wreck of the Navy's grand old lady, the war spite, as she settles down to dodge the shipbreaker's yard for yet another day in a 35 years epic. Seven words from the Admiralty in 1946 announced the death of the grand old lady, approved for HMS Warspite to be scrapped. But the announcement was premature. Towed by two tugs en route for the Clyde, she broke loose in the teeth of a 60 mile an hour gale and beached herself defiantly in Prussia Cove. What's in a name? And so she lies, not in Prussia Cove today, but in Mounts Bay hard by, to where they moved her a few months ago. Jutland she knew, nor could all the Kaiser's shells, nor yet the 400 Nazi bombs aimed at her years later in Cretan waters, make of her armour a twisted wreck like this. This was her own doing, hers and the seas upon which she once rode supreme. For the shipbreakers, she's still a problem child. Welders have to make her watertight both above and below water ere they can shift her again. Underwater repairs are being made to her boiler room. What was once her wardroom is today a workshop for the breakers, a workshop awash at high tides. Tides which, in five long years, have not erased her name. One more pump comes aboard to help refloat this mighty war machine. It calls for manhandling on decks which have known salt and sweat before. These are the death pangs of a ship which once knew glory. But she's beaten the shipbreakers twice, maybe she'll beat them again. 30,000 tons of old fighting spirit alone in her last battle with time. 